I grew up in New York City, so it's home to me, and I really love living here. We're sort of walking in the direction of a park that I used to play at a lot when I was a kid. This is my backyard. Seeing myself on billboards is kind of surreal. Like, it doesn't seem like that's really me. The thing with fame is that it's sort of happened suddenly with me. It's, I kind of like it when people say, I like your work, or I saw 10 things I hate about you, and I thought you were really good, or I thought the movie was really good. I like that. When I was 11 years old, I wrote a letter to a theater company, and I sent them all these pictures of me playing dress up, asking if I could audition for any plays that they had with children in it. I think they were so shocked that anyone would do, have the guts to do that, that uh, I started doing really small roles. At first, it, you know, it's really, really tough dealing with rejection, and, uh, and sometimes it makes you feel like there's something wrong with your personality. Or, um, but I think as it happens more and more, you A, learn not to get so worked up about, or not to get your hopes up about a certain project, and B, you learn not to take it personally. In 10 Things I Hate About You, I play Kat. She's very opinionated and very assertive and very strong and kind of antagonistic to other people. You suck! I fell in love with that role the minute I read the script. It was the first time I'd really seen a female character that was so strong and so individual. If you're planning on asking me out again, you might as well just get it over your She mind. feels that everyone in, in high school is pretty superficial and judgmental, and she doesn't like that, and she's always making a point of shaking that up a little bit, and I, and I felt like that in high school a lot, and people would confuse that as bitchiness. I had to work up from the trenches because I didn't have any family members that were in show business, and I didn't know anyone. But I feel really happy now that the momentum is picking up. I think with my experience, having to work so hard to get where I am today made me a stronger person. Uh, I don't think that I ever really said I'm going to be an actor for the rest of my life. I knew that I really loved it and it was just a matter of if I could do it and if other people would let me do it. And by now, you know, it's so, I, I enjoy it so much that I know that I want to do it for a long time.